What's up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you all with another classic Diecast review that I actually got from my good friends at 07 Recent Collectibles. If you guys know, that is uh, one of my uh, favorite Diecast dealers that I have been a customer for, uh, you know, I would say a few years now when I was, you know, a resident in the New York area. Um, but they have a website, go and check them out. And this one really kind of caught my eye because, uh, I'm a really big fan of special paints games, and this one I think probably can't be timed any more perfectly because you guys already heard the news that Kevin Harvick is going to be stepping away for, uh, for full time racing after the after this year for 2023. Um, so yeah, I mean, so I have a lot of stuff to review on his, and this one in particular, I decided, hey, you know what? Let's go review it and share the memories of this. But this is on Kevin Harvick's 2005 GM Goodwrench Indianapolis Special uh, Brickyard Car Chevrolet Monte Carlo for uh, Rich Childress Racing. I mean, as you guys know, I mean. Um, Road Shows Racing is pretty much well known for, uh, for you know, a lot of big wins in NASCAR, including the 500, but also uh, uh, before Ryan Newman's uh, breakout win, which happened, uh, well, like in 14 or 15, I think, uh, they had Kevin Harvick uh, winning the 2003 uh, breakout 400 and uh, Dale Earnhardt Sr. winning uh, the 1995 breakout. So this is what this paint scheme is supposed to represent. And it's really cool, guys. I mean, uh, this is supposed to be the 20th anniversary, I think, of RCR or when Gene Goodwrench stepped in as sponsor. But really nice, guys. I mean, of course, this is a brickyard car, so you know we're going to be talking about, you know, the great old Indianapolis Motor Speedway. But um, nice clamshell packaging with the rubber tires. But uh, let's go and unbox this bad boy and let's see a close look at the Kevin Harvick 2005 Indianapolis Brickyard Special Car. And alrighty, guys, we got this diecast out of its box. And man, you guys know me, I love the Gen 4 diecast. And this one right here is kind of, I, I would say it's a paint scheme that I didn't really actually remember when I was uh, growing up as a NASCAR fan. I mean, uh, you guys know I've been a NASCAR fan since 2001, so this is like my fourth or fifth year watching NASCAR. And, um, you know, I have a lot of respect for, uh, you know, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, like the Brickyard. And I, as you can see, this is what this paint scheme is supposed to represent. So I think as for, for what, like, um, RCR actually had a lot of cool, unique paint schemes. I mean, if you guys saw my Atlanta Special car that um, I did review on, like, maybe a year or two ago, uh, that was, like, the, the car that Kevin Harvick won in, um, and that white GM Goodwrench car with the inverted colors um, for, you know, because that was the race after, I think, he took over Dale Sr.'s ride. But um, you see right there, we got the good old three for Dale. But I just thought this would be an appropriate time to review this car because of the, the recent news that just came unfolded, which I think none of us weren't really surprised uh, since this is going to be Kevin Harvick's uh, final year uh, full-time in the NASCAR Cup Series. Um, makes sense. I mean, um, originally, I guess he was supposed to retire in 2021, but just... Um, you know, I guess the, the time wasn't right yet, but now it is. And, you know, let me tell you what, I wasn't really the biggest fan of Kevin Harvick. I mean, he was just one of those guys I just didn't like his, uh, I, I wasn't really a big fan of his attitude, but, you know, I mean, the guy definitely is a, you know, well, once he finally retires a NASCAR man, I, 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 let me tell you what, he is definitely going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, that's for certain. Um, even though it, it's a shame he's only won one championship. I mean, who knows? I mean, could you imagine if he ended up winning a championship and then calling it a career for this year? That'd be cool, pretty cool. I mean, we'll see how things will go, but, um. I love what they did in the 2005 cars, guys. I mean, um, they've, there's been a lot of good, iconic uh, GM Goodwrench cars, but I think this one definitely looks underlooked because it's just a one-and-done paint scheme. But if you guys are a big fan of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, you guys know the Brickyard, um, you know, that yard of bricks that they got. That's where they got the nickname from. Um, it is pretty iconic, man, but you get, like, this nice metallic silver finish, which looks really cool on an RCR car, um, and then you get the nice glow red right here. It's, I mean, it, it does look a little more orangish on camera, but it's, like, a nice bright red, like a candy apple red, um, like the color of the bricks, and it's just so simple, but so cool as well, and then you can see right there, we got, of course, you know, this is uh, when RCR won their first two wins at the Brickyard, and then later on with Ryan Newman, um, Let's see, 995 winner, which I believe was Dale Sr., and then, of course, 2003, which was with Kevin Harvick. So, um, yeah, dude, this right here is just such a cool paint scheme, guys. And you see you got the, you know, the uh, the two Brickyard uh, trophies right here, which I thought they were, like, uh, engine pistons, but they're not. But they look kind of cool, though. Um, just a, I love when they do, like, paint schemes like this, guys, but... Um, I don't know, I think this one just probably has to be one of my favorites because I am a big fan of Indianapolis Motor Speedway. If you guys don't know, I have been going to the Indy 500 uh, every year since 2015, and just every year I feel like just that, that, that magical feeling that IMS brings is just... It's just so prominent, man. Um, definitely would recommend checking it out. I mean, I know there's gonna be a lot of new fans that are gonna be tuning in for the uh, for the Indy 500 uh, next year with the announcement of Kyle Larson going to uh, um, run the double next year. So, but definitely a great place, guys. And you know what, man? There's something about me that kind of misses the Brickyard, guys. I feel like the Brickyard 400 or the Allstate 400, what you want to call it, um, it's definitely still a crown jewel race in my books, even though it's kind of a dead race now. I mean. Um, no, I, don't get me wrong. I don't mind the the the, uh, the the road course race, but I feel like they could have do like it, it, 
I feel like the next gen racing could definitely work on uh, on a place like uh, on the oval circuit for the for IMS. Um, I feel like we could definitely get some unique passes and um, probably get that same excitement feeling that we got with the Indy 500 guys. Um, I know it's like comparing apples to oranges, but just um, the Brickyard, I think, definitely still deserves to be an NASCAR. I mean, even though the last few years have been freaking awful, <laughs> but. I don't know. I, I'm hoping one of these years we can probably get the oval configuration back for the next gen, uh, for the next gen cars, and we'll probably see how that racing goes. But comment below what you guys think about that as we're getting on to uh, you know the gist of this review. Uh, I know I'm kind of like talking about everything, but this is what this paint team mostly is, guys. It's just a mixture of everything that just makes Indianapolis Motor Speedway so great. And um, yeah, guys, I mean, and um, yeah, as you guys know, Kevin Harvick did end up getting another Brickyard win uh, when he went to Stuart House Racing. So um, yeah, Harvick has a lot of great history at this track, guys. Uh, but just look at this, man. It's so beautiful. The iconic number 29, guys. I still kind of miss the 29 car. I wish they would bring that back. But um, heck, man, we know this year is going to be a big year for RCR with Kyle Busch now going to the eight. So we'll see what happens. The three for Dale, the GM Good Ranch sponsorship. So many great sponsors. Comment below which Kevin Harvick car was your favorite in the year 2005. Um, you know, I definitely do miss the, the the Hershey's and the Reese's cars that they used to have. But I think that was like a year prior, a year after. So you got more Good Ranch sponsorship, Good Wrench engines. I used to say those were some good uh you know some good engines <laughs> but you see right here pretty much the same side as the other side and yeah like i said guys this is definitely a really cool high quality die cast you get so you see right there i mean it does come with rubber tires which makes it very nice i mean uh, we used to get that in the 2021 cards but not anymore um but yeah, comment below if you have anything else to share right here. This is going to wrap up the diecast review, the classic diecast review, as I'm wiping off all my shit in the background. I need a lint roller. On Kevin Harvick's 2005 GM Goodwrench Indianapolis uh, Brickyard Special Chevrolet Monte Carlo for RCR. Comment like, subscribe to this video, OBB. Catch you guys next time on another Harvick review or another classic review. And uh, yeah, so long for now, everyone.